Hi again, coming to you live from the living room again. Um, this time I'm doing a stay in, stay creative video for Quilting Daily and we're focusing on someone I really admire, an artist who lives in Mexico, has traveled the world and um, defines herself as a street slash textile artist. Uh, her name is Victoria Villasana, she's amazing. Okay, let me introduce you to the work of Victoria Villasana. She currently lives in Mexico and she was really inspired um, when she moved to London. Um, she likes to mix history and tradition with pop culture and contemporary patterns. She's very inspired by historical movements, activists, and musicians, people who broke the status quo of their time, because those are the people who make change for all of us. So let's take a look at some of her images. She often will honor women and she will look at, um, for example, in this image, you'll see that she's showing a woman's eyes, very powerful, looking up as, a, as an act of hope. And so she'll communicate that hopeful vision by honoring the eyes in that artwork. She'll decorate the paper with colorful, you know, embroidery floss and yarn and create these beautiful colored patterns that honor the person in the photograph and kind of extend them. Eventually, sometimes she takes these works of hers and places them on the street so people can kind of encounter them by surprise. Um, they're not very large. They're just hidden um, somewhere on the street for people to find. Uh, very often, the yarn she uses will trail off the page so she leaves these kind of long tails. She likes the look of that. I highly recommend you play with that too. I'm going to play with that in some of mine. So you're going to need a few materials today. Uh, Victoria has outlined in a video for us um, some of her process and materials. You're welcome to click that link below. Um, it's about a 20 minute video and then there's another one that with some follow up questions. So there's two YouTube videos that we'll, we'll share along with this one. Um, maybe you have some yarn. Here's some crazy yarn that I have that's like a hot pink. She says that she likes to work with any kind of yarn. She doesn't really care if it's wool or polyester or cotton, as long as um, it's the texture and color that represents what she's looking for. Here's some kind of maroon stuff and some red stuff that I have. She has specific recommendations for crueling needles, like uh, tapestry needles. You want there to, to be like a point on it. So I have a bunch of needles right here. Um, they're not as probably as sharp as they should be. You're gonna need some scissors and you're gonna need some tape. Uh, she uses white masking tape. This is what I have, plain old masking tape. Um, lastly, you, you need some photographs to work on. She says, um, you will see in the video that she, when she started, she started working with just magazine pages. So, um, often her work is black and white. I have this fantastic picture of my grandfather. Um, he's right here. Papa Dave, I miss him dearly. Um, on the back it says all these names of people that he was friends with. It says, oh, it's Valentine's Day. They were all dressed up for Valentine's Day. 1937, Hollywood Country Club. So they were probably um, whining and dining their uh, partners. So this is Papa Dave right there, okay? So what I did was I, I don't want to sew this because it's the only one I have and it's a really beautiful photograph. So I just grabbed some cardstock. It's not even really cardstock. It's just the only thick paper that I had. And I ran it through my, um, my printer at home. So this is just, uh, it's sort of like stationary, I guess, like thick stationary. And I thought I could sew on this. Use what you have. Let's see what happens. So to get started, um, something Victoria taught me in her video is that tape is really good for the back of your artwork. So I have my grandfather's photograph and then I'm taping the back. And so what she wants you to do is use the tape, kind of stabilize the paper, thread your needle and uh, knot it at the end. And she says it's helpful for you to pre-poke your holes into the front. So grabbing my needle. Um, so I'm just poking some holes in the collar of my grandfather's suit. And I actually have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm gonna learn along with you. 
uh, which is always good. I'm gonna make another one. I can really feel as I'm working that the tape is definitely helping me um, making this process a lot easier because the paper does not want to rip, which is fascinating because I kind of thought it would. So she certainly gave us a gift today by letting us explore her process. I'm already in love with this and I have far to go, but um, let's see what you do. Have fun, express yourself, explore something, use whatever you have. I probably will use some of this fine thread on this next. It seems like a good idea, but I'm gonna stop for today and let you go and have, have fun exploring. Art class is in, show me what you do and um, show her too if you're on Instagram, um, show her.